Alright, let's take a look at a Tech DC-9. This is a version of the Tech-9. DC meaning uh, designed for California, if I remember right. So this is the magazine. It's got a kind of safety or a lock there. You pull that away from the gun. Now it'll work when that's pushed in. It locks the bolt. This fires from a closed bolt. And you can see it doesn't have a heck of a lot of barrel there. Once the mag's installed, you've got about that much barrel. You can get them with longer magazines that hold more rounds. This one has actually never been fired, and it still has its original like cosmoline or grease, and it's all gummy in there. nc 9s are made by Intertech, it's a cool company. Started out life as an MP9, full auto out of Sweden. Came to the U.S., turned into a, K9, a KG9, which was an open bolt semi-auto pistol version of the MP9. Then uh, the open bolt was too easy to convert to full auto, so they changed it to the KG99, which was a closed bolt version. Then uh, they switched over to the Tech 9s. Uh, then, so they changed it to this DC model, designed for California. This one was made in 93. For California, which had crazy laws before the assault weapons ban, in which at the point when the assault weapons ban hit the whole country, they couldn't sell us at all. And then it was called the AB-10, and then it was, well, much less dangerous because it didn't have threaded barrel on it. Take a little look here. There's this assembly looks like that. You basically pull the pin out from up here. It would pivot up and come apart, very much like an Uzi or a Mac-10. And there's its trajectory. A lot of information in here. All these different ways to hold it. Part slide grab. So it's kind of neat to see the original manual. You don't see those too often. This one even has its original box, which you don't see too often. Uh, Intertech USA. But the reason you don't see them too often is because there was no hinge. It was just this bent piece of plastic. And we all know how long those usually last. So it's kind of neat to see that one. Not even out of the box very often. This I thought was the most interesting thing though, besides the gun, is seeing this price list from 1993. So let's take a look. In 1993, if you wanted to go buy this DC-9, it would have cost you 260 bucks retail. So retail, this thing would have been less than $300. And not enough people bought them. If you don't own one of these, and your grandfather or father lived in the United States in 1993, uh, ask them what they did with that $260 that was so good that you don't have any uh, Tech 9 right now. So I think I'd rather have the Tech 9 than whatever that $200 bought. But if you wanted to buy this little brother of it, the Tech 22, without the BX25 mag, because this magazine is brand new, but if you would have bought a Tech 22 and used Ruger 1022 magazines in it back in the day, how much would you have paid for that in 1993? $157. I think that's what I paid for my first one. So that's the Intertech DC-9. Lots of fun stuff at gun shops and gun shows. Look on the bottom shelves. You find all kinds of interesting guns. Thanks for watching. This is a KG-99. The guys and gals of GunWebsites.com encourage you to take a CCW class every year, practice at least once a month, and carry every day. Thanks for watching GunWebsites.com.